And welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Dragon Rider. We are back for another Cosmic Crucible. We are in week um, number three of season seven, and this is going to be round one. Looking at the um, who I'm going up against today, um, so we've got uh, Elonian 14. Elonian. Um, they are going to be the lowest member in our bracket with uh, 45 million TCP, and I am sitting over here with um, 60 million or 60.5 million TCP. So let's go into um, what's going on. And um, so pretty standard defense. So we've got uh, Darkhold, Pegasus, New Avengers. We've got a kind of uh, villain soup over here with Black Knight. We've got Infinity Watch and we have got um, Secret Defenders plus Nova. Um, so let's start things off. Um, we'll start things, let's go easy. So we're gonna start off with Pegasus. Um, very simple counter for this is going to be Bifrost. Um, just pretty much Bifrost soaks up a bunch of damage and then they are able to take this team out. Um, only thing I do like to do when you're going into this fight is I do switch up the, uh, or I move the placement around just a little bit. Um, that way just Vol isn't getting a bunch of splash damage. And I actually do want to save this team um, for Cosmic Crucible going forward, but let's get into the fight. And we are loaded in here. So basically what's going to happen is um, Pegasus is going to take a bunch of turns. Um, it's going to look pretty sketchy for a little bit. And then um, once your Bifrost team gets going, the match becomes pretty simple. So basically you're just kind of soaking up a bunch of damage. And occasionally sometimes the retaliations from Bifrost will take out um, one of the enemy Pegasus members as we just saw there with Dark Hawk. Um, but yeah, so basically you just kind of take a bunch of damage, and then once your team starts moving, um, it's pretty much game over. And the big thing with this is pretty much once Sylvie does her turn meter rewind, which is going to be her turn one, the match is done. Um, Pegasus is so slow that basically they're not really able to recover from that. Um, so I'm going to go down here. Target order really not too big of a deal. I was trying to get the um, an additional exposed over here, but that didn't go through. But that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and hit into the exposed over here on Iron Man Mark Two, or uh, Iron Man Infinity War rather. Um, we are going to have rescue revive someone, which is fine. A little bit annoying. It does kind of eat up some of our efficiency. Um, but you saw Beta Ray Bill there, just kind of. Um, pretty much wipe the field and there we go and that is that fight quick and simple all right going into our next fight i think i'm going to go ahead and take on the sd plus nova don't really see nova doing much here um, if i'm being honest um, i typically like to go in with new warriors and then i sub in apoc and this fight normally they're able to punch up pretty big um, this obviously isn't that big of a punch up but let's get into it all right, we are loaded in here, and um, basically some of this match does depend on who um, Miss Marvel Hardlight over here rewinds. Um, didn't have any issues there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, over here. We basically want the trauma on the Robbie Reyes. And let's see, let's go ahead and spread all these bleeds. And basically, I mean, it, this fight hasn't moved much, but the fight is pretty much over. Um, you probably could take in just um, standard new warriors here, but I just like the extra turn efficiency that APOC brings in. And the thing that does get a little... Um, not hairy, I guess, but the thing that gets a little bit different is if you bring in, um, if your opponent has in Photon, um, the turn order is just a little bit different. But um, so that's kind of why I like APOC in there. It gives you a little bit extra security. And as you're seeing here, um, new warriors definitely still have a place in this current um, Cosmic Crucible meta. So that is this match. Let's go on into the next one. All right, going into our next fight, um, I believe it was last week, I kind of underestimated New Avengers over here. Um, so we've got a New Avengers with Quicksilver. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take in the Masters of Evil, but instead of Ultron, I'm actually going to take in um, Echo over here. And basically, all Echo is is she's a walking passive. Basically, she is going to stop um, the assists from going on from those that have offense up on my enemy's side. So it just makes this fight a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient. 
Okay, and as we load in here, so I am gonna go ahead and just kind of start things off. I'm gonna ability block Mockingbird over here. And that's just to, why not? Um, Kang is gonna go, so our only, exp our only vulnerable is actually gonna be on Mockingbird. So, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go over this way and get the slow on Tigra, or just delete her, that's fine also. Um, let's go ahead and get the stun over here on Quicksilver and kind of get the splash damage to take out Mockingbird. And as you're seeing here, um, I actually don't even think New Avengers is going to take a turn, um, which is fine by me. That is uh, certainly wonderful for our efficiency. Um, let's see, Coulson is stealthed. Um, so let's go ahead and finish off Quicksilver over here. Between the assists, that should take him out. There we go. And let's go into Ronin over here, took him out. Um, so we are going to get a little damage there, but we'll be nice and healthy. The reason, again, um, in this case, Echo wasn't super necessary as the opponent didn't really take any turns. But Echo is a nice way to kind of hard counter if you're running into being like assisted to death, essentially. Um, she, as long as she's alive, um, assists don't work on your opponent's side. But quick, easy fight there, and let's go into the next one. So we're going to go into, I guess, one of the quote-unquote harder rooms. Um, let's go into this unstable energy. And we are going to do um, Cabal with Skrull and Omega Red. And basically, I mean, this fight goes pretty smoothly. Um, I haven't had too many issues with this one. Um, you do want to be careful. Um, this is Unstable Energy, so their enemy Skrull will ult turn one, as well as Doom will have ult turn one. So just something to be mindful of. But um, this fight should go pretty smooth. Okay, and as we do load in here, um, so what I actually like to do here is um, let's go in. We don't have any choice because we're stuck behind the Black Knight taunt. So what I like to do, um, if you don't have the Black Knight taunt up, um, I would go in with Scrolls Special. But since we're stuck behind a taunt, we'll just go in with the ult, get a lot of damage, and I mean, we basically just kind of wiped everyone. Um, we got rid of all those revive once um, from Dormammu. We're going to take a little damage over here from the Omega Red ultimate, but that is okay. I believe this one, that's the one that clears the revive once, so we'll take that off of Black Knight. And do, 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 do. eat the scroll ult on their side. Let's see, um, clear all positive effects, and what do you do? I do apologize, I'm still kind of getting used to this team. Um, we do want to apply stun, so let's get stun on Dr. Doom over here with the, oh, no trauma actually, but the assist will get him taken out. Um, so we are going to lose this one, which is okay. Um, this will be a pretty easy cleanup. Um, so we'll look, I'll kind of decide what I want to clean this room up with, but... Not the best, um, that went a little bit messy, but we will clean it up pretty uh, efficient. All right, let's go into um, this Darkhold room. I think what I'm gonna try to do is I wanna save Superior Six and kind of clean up this unstable energy. Um, so let's go in with an older team to counter Darkhold. So we'll have um, Weaver, Doom, 2099, and then I think think for the other two members let's go in with nova and let's bring in red hulk because why not um this is kind of an older team but it does still work all right as we're dropping in all right so we are going to basically go in with the ultimate with 2099 and steal that death proof and this team counters darkhold a lot easier especially since you don't have to worry about the um, ultimate from Doctor Strange Heartless kind of like popping off immediately. That was kind of the um, issues with this team in the past. Um, so we've got the um, also with the room rules, the ultimates um, cause ability blocks. So we had an ability block on Wong over there, so he did not taunt obviously. And so we're just kind of working on Morgan Le Fay over here, and she is stunned, um, so we will kind of work on slowly taking her down. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and keep focusing on MLF, and it's going to depend on where Weaver bounces to, but we're going to do the special, basically get another charge, hopefully we bounce over to Agatha, uh, which I was hoping to bounce over to Agatha a second time, but that is okay, we'll take her out with the Red Hulk basic, 
and Nova will be doing his ult here, which will be applying ability block again. Um, so that will basically hopefully avoid Doctor Strange Heartless doing his ultimate, and we will not have to worry about kind of our health efficiency. Doom has got his ult, and this is basically game over now. So we'll do the two basics, followed up by the special. I honestly wasn't paying attention, so I'm not too sure who went for the Doom ult ride, but we will see that in just a second, and it was Nova. So we'll just basically go in and basic Wong over here, and that will end uh, this fight over here. So we had a nice healthy team. I don't think we took any damage there, so that is wonderful for efficiency. And we will move on to Infinity Watch and then the cleanup. Moving on over to our cleanup today, we are going to go into Infinity Watch. And basically, it's just kind of whatever I have left over. Um, so what I do like to do with this one, I will use um, two of the Eternals, and then we will also go in with Spider-Man Big Time. He is going to help us take out those revives from two of them, and we need to find Big Time over here. And then other characters, um, you know what, let's just go in with Hela, and we'll do um, Zombie Iron Man just because... Um, with Infinity Watch um, not having the kind of like infinite safeguard, this is basically my plan here is I'm hoping they'll basically take it, um, take themselves out and hopefully help with the infic uh, efficiency of um, Infinity Watch over here. Okay, we are loading in here. And basically, you know, what we're going to do is we open up with the big time special. As you saw there, that removed the revive from both uh, Gamora and Nebula over here. Gamora's going to do her thing, and my um, Iron Man zombie is starting to get a little beefier over here, so he was able to take that hit. Um, I don't want to open up with the Icarus ultimate. Um, my basic goal here is I do want to get that double tap, and what I've been finding lately is people are starting to kind of build their Infinity Watches a little bit just for the efficiency sink, essentially. So I'm finding the Icarus ult doesn't always do the double tap, so that's kind of my uh, thought process behind that. Go in there, we'll get the ability block and some bleeds. Um, Phylavel obviously clears them. And let's see, big time should be going next. We'll get the ultimate, just kind of working on damage and getting Nebula and Gamora just a little bit lower. And I'm thinking for Icarus's next turn, the ultimate should hopefully take out one of these uh, characters, which they are almost full health again, which is unfortunate. So let's see. Um, let's go into file of our to Moon Dragon over here, and we did not get a kill, which sucks. But um, we do have a lot of bleeds out there, which is nice. Let's go ahead and get a stun on Adam Warlock. And what we'll do? Let's see. We don't want to kill Adam Warlock yet because basically we are going to try and either have one of the Infinity Watch members kill him, or um, strip the revive off with a uh, big time. Okay, and he uh, bled out, so that is unfortunate, at least for our efficiency. Um, let's go into, we've got no choice but to finish off Nebula over here, as she does have a taunt currently. Okay, that took out Phi Lavelle. Gamora is hanging on by a sliver, but we are stuck behind a taunt. Let's go into Adam Warlock, and this fight is done. And we just basically have to take out um, Gamora over here. Okay, nice and done, and let's go in and clean up that villain soup. And for our remaining villain soup, we're just going to go in um, with our Superior Six team. And this should be pretty easy cleanup. Um, both Skrull and Black Knight have their exhausted. Um, Skrull's already used his ultimate. Omega Red has already used his ultimate as well. So this should be a pretty quick cleanup. All right, let's see. So Skrull did his special there. We got some retaliations from... Um, Green Goblin Classic. We'll go in with our ultimate over here and do some turn meter rewind. That should get rid of Omega Red, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. We do have the taunt on Black Knight, which that is gone. So we are going to target Scroll now. I do apologize on that. We cut out for a quick second, so my apologies. Um, we are going to go in with Craven's special here just to get the ability block on Scroll, which was resisted. So that is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and do the special, which is going to give Scroll a bunch of turn meter. And he got his ultimate off a second time, which is what I was hopefully trying to avoid here. Um, we'll go in with the special. 
And basically what we're trying to do now is we're just kind of working down Skrull and uh, hopefully Skrull does not continue to do his Skrull things. Okay. And we just lost, um, we lost Shocker, that is okay. Um, we'll go in with the ultimate there. And hopefully we do not um, be quite embarrassing if we lose this a second go around. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of Black Knight. Skrull is doing nasty Skrull things. We just lost Doc Ock. And it's going to be really embarrassing if I have to go in and clean this up a third time. Um, I'd probably go in with Hive Mind would be my last kind of option. Um, got a bleed on him. And he got his ult off again, which is nasty. Yeah, we are going to have to clean this up a uh, second time, or a third time rather. So that is a bit embarrassing, but hopefully Hive Mind should be able to get this done. And uh, yeah, we will kind of wrap this up. All right, so hopefully this does not cause me to lose the Crucible, because that would be uh, really unfortunate. Um, let's go in with our Hive Mind team. And yeah, hopefully they can clean up Scrawl over here. In hindsight, I actually probably should not have used the uh, special with Doc Ock that gave Scroll a lot of turn meter. And um, in this room in particular, when you have the um, reduced cooldowns for ultimates, that definitely probably was not a good idea on my end. Um, but Hive Mind so far is getting it done over here. They took a Scroll ult, which is good, or, you know, uh, as good as can be expected, I guess. Um, we want to avoid Scroll ulting again, so let's go in with the ability block, and there we go, he bled out. So at least we were able to clean that up um, on our third tap. All right, let's see how our opponent did, if they have attacked yet. And looks like my opponent uh, definitely beat me on efficiency. So that um, third tap on the scroll team uh, essentially lost me this uh, round. So let's see what they did. Um, room one, they basically went in with a unlimited extreme hybrid into my extreme dorm. In uh, this room over here, they did um, Bifrost, which is kind of the standard counter. Over here, they went in with Superior 6 against my Unlimited kind of hybrid. Over here, they went in with Cabal, um, so no issues there as well. Same thing, Unlimited, or not Unlimited, they took in Masters of Evil against Infinity Watch, and they had they did struggle a little bit here in my Secret Defenders with MLF and Emma. This room in particular seems to catch people by surprise, um, and basically Emma and Morgan Le Fay messes up the turn meter, and so that's kind of where I've been catching people a little bit. Um, I did make some changes for my defense for tomorrow's match, so I'll actually see how that goes. Basically, I moved Extreme into the assist room and they do some nasty stuff with that. I moved the unlimited dorm quicksilver into the full house and then basically I also moved my black knight over to my black order vulture team. So I'm curious just to see how that does. Um, so yeah so that is going to be round one. It looks like round one is a loss. We'll see how we do in round two. If you did find this video uh, helpful please feel free to like and subscribe. As always I want to thank you all so much for watching. Once again my name is Dragon Rider and I will catch you in tomorrow's match for Cosmic Crucible.